I'm Kristen. This is going to be your 30 minute yoga for athletes. Today we're going to focus on our shoulders, particularly rounded shoulders. We're going to pull those babies back. I'm going to give you lots of tips. Um, I will be queuing with blocks. I also have a t-shirt, something you can grab at both ends, a towel, a strap, a t-shirt, grab what you need. Don't forget, subscribe to us and then push on that notification button. So every time a new workout drops, you know about it. And now let's get started. Okay, let's get started today in a child's pose. So bring your shins down to the mat, widen your knees a little bit, big toes to touch, hinge at your hips and walk your arms long. Find your child's pose, how it feels good in your body, and we'll connect with some breaths here. So once you settle in, relax your arms down. Feel the length from your crown to your tail. Maybe you find a little rock through your hips. A lot of heart opening happening today. Let's take a breath in. Breathe in deep. And exhale out. We'll take two more breaths like that. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. To get those rounded shoulders, exhale. We're going to focus on strengthening the muscles in our back. Stretching those chest muscles that get tight from us rounding our shoulders. Breathe in one more time here. And exhale out. And also core strength. It's a full package here. Okay, let's rise up and find our tabletop. So yeah, we're looking at stretching those muscles through the chest. Let's take an inhale and a cow. So sink the belly right here. Slide the shoulder blades back. Lift through your crown and tail. And exhale, round the back, drop your head and tail. Find that stretch through the mid upper back, low back, push the earth away. Inhale again for cow. We want to strengthen those back muscles. Exhale, always the core. Let's take one more. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Okay, friends, let's come on to our sit bones. So bring them back onto your heels. Draw your knees together this time. So we're just sitting back here. Our tops of our feet are flat. We're going to start opening up the chest right away. So bring your palms behind you. Your fingers can point in. Lean back. You may feel a stretch in your quads already, warming up the thighs. And then draw those shoulder blades toward each other. Really draw them toward each other. Inhale and start to circle your head back, being mindful of your neck, opening through your chest. And exhale, let it go. Just come to a seat. As you're sitting, mind to muscle connect to your core. Take a, a feeling and think about it. Are you dipping your hips forward? Bring everything back to center line. Draw those hips into a neutral position. You're already using your core, soft tone in the belly. Take a shoulder rug roll here a shrug and a roll i guess that's a rug roll it here and let's do that one more time so draw the hands back inhale draw the shoulder blades together rainbow your chest up maybe this time you lift your hips getting a deeper stretch also through those thighs inhale and exhale sit bones down Carefully walk your hands back onto your thighs. Let's take one more little shoulder roll here. Beautiful. And exhale out. Walk your hands forward. Curl your toes under. Find that tabletop again. And now rise up and find your first downward facing dog. So step back a little bit. You should be able to hinge straight from down dog into a high plank. If you're doing that correctly, you know that your arms, and your hands, and your feet are planted at a good distance. But just find your down dog and start to pedal it out. Dial your hands out slightly to take that emphasis off the wrists. Relax your face, relax your neck, and let your chest soften back toward your upper thighs. Send your inner thigh bones toward the back of the room and your sit bones straight up and breathe in here. And exhale out, retracting those shoulder blades down your back line. Inhale again, breathe in. 
This time on the exhale, let's rock forward into that high plank. So come forward onto your toes, ripple forward, find your shoulders directly over your wrists, bring those hips in line with your shoulders, and now firm everything up. We also want to strengthen our shoulders when we're looking at trying to bring those rounded shoulders back, which we all have a bit of that from, you know, tech neck, our phones right? Work, car, driving, holding here, drawing your belly in, feeling that fire in your thighs, right? Your hips are in line with your shoulders. Breathe in. And on the exhale, bring your knees down and draw your elbows along your low ribs as you bring your chest all the way to the ground. Now bring your tops of your feet down, your forehead down, bring your hands behind you. And let's draw the thumbs upward. So your pinkies are down, your thumbs are upward. Your palms are facing out. Inhale here and rise for locust pose. Lift those long arms. Lift your crown of your head is forward. Look down your nose, lifting through your heels, working the whole back line of the body. Hold here as you lift, using your glutes, sliding those shoulder blades back. And exhale, ah, lower down. Let's do that one more time, yogis, but this time draw your fingers and weave them together. On the inhale, bring those knit fingers and stretch them long as if you want to reach for your heels. Inhale, rise again, looking down over your nose to keep your neck nice and long, your inner thighs spiraling inward and upward to keep your legs in a neutral position, breathing in here, opening through your heart, drawing those shoulder blades together, and exhale, lower down. Bring your hands in line with your nose. Curl your toes under. Let's rise through child's pose. So open up the knees slightly. Send the sit bones back. Find a stretch. <sighs> Inhale, down dog. Let's take that again. Breathe in here, yogis. Exhale, ripple to high plank and hold. Inhale here. Find your neck nice and long. Exhale, heels are over the toes, lower with those elbows along the low ribs all the way to the ground, setting up for locust pose yet again with that bind. Bring your hands behind you, weave them together. Tops of your feet are down. Inhale, rise through your heart and your heels. And exhale, hands in line with your nose, curl your toes under and bring it back through child's pose yet again. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, find your down dog. Exhale, ripple to high plank and hold. Breathe in here. Shift forward, exhale, lower with control to your belly. Last time for our locust pose, hands behind us. We weave our fingers, inhale, rise. Hold it, feel the strength through the back line of your body. And exhale down. Hands in line with your nose. Curl your toes under. Find that child's pose one last time. That chance to find length through your spine. And then exhale, rise up in our down dog. Pedal it out. Breathe in here. And exhale out. Now breathe in again. Bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. And find your first ragdoll, a chance to open up the back side of the leg. So let's grab for that arm bind again. Bring your hands behind you. Weave your fingers together. You can have a little bend or a big bend in those knees. Inhale, reach those woven arms high. Exhale, fold. Lift your sit bones toward the ceiling. Your arms coming forward. Find your range of motion. Most importantly, the weight is in the ball mounts of your feet. Ah, so good. And then exhale, forward fold. Hands come down. Let's shimmy our feet together a little bit here. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Bring your hands to your shins or to your thighs. Now listen up. Plug those shoulder blades back. Draw strength from your belly. Soft as bend in the knees. And your neck is nice and long. And really think about those upper arm bones staying close to your body, right? This is retracting our shoulder blades. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. 
breathe in root and rise rise all the way fingers come nice and high upward salute urdhva hastasana bring those hands high stacking all of your joints keeping your shoulders down but those pinkies nice and high soft tone in the belly and softness in the knees right that engages your quads as well inhale here exhale go post the arms open up through your heart slide the shoulder blades back for a baby back bend inhale lift exhale chair pose draw the sit bones back toward your heels draw your low ribs in pelvis in neutral those biceps are nice and strong by your ears but your shoulders are plugged back and down so much strength yogis come a little bit lower inhale here and now exhale airplane the arms but listen up bring those thumbs up again like we did in our locus so your palms are facing outward now check in on your belly you may feel like you're losing a tone there so draw your belly back in thumbs are up this is really retracting bringing those shoulder blades back keep your neck nice and long hold it here Ooh, and bring those arms high one more time keep your chair pose we're going for strength in those legs yes fire up those thighs fire up through your core inhale here exhale this time bring your arms to a bind fingers together draw those knit fingers down and back slide your shoulder blades together keep the integrity of your core and exhale here forward fold with that arm bind Ooh. inhale halfway lift your hands can be on the ground your shins or your thighs but plug those upper arm bones back integrity through the core exhale forward fold inhale root and rise all the way bring those arms nice and high stretch it out exhale baby back bend inhale rise again and exhale chair pose let's take this again with a little more fluidity our sit bones are back inhale here exhale airplane palms out so we retract the shoulders our thumbs are up we're flying here right now this time hands come to that knit bound fingers right draw them down inhale exhale forward fold breathe in halfway lift exhale forward fold let's take that one more time inhale root and rise urdhva hastasana hands up overhead draw that pelvis in exhale baby back bend open up through your heart inhale rise from your fingers last time here yogis exhale chair pose with control breathe in exhale airplane in the arms thumbs up squeeze those shoulder blades together keep the tail in neutral draw those fingers together for a knit bind through the hands pull them down behind you squeeze the shoulder blades keep the belly engaged inhale here exhale forward fold topple over bring those arms forward inhale halfway left hands to shins thighs draw those upper arm bones in exhale forward fold beautiful this time inhale halfway lift let's take a vinyasa exhale step or hop back to your high plank hold with your strength breathe in here exhale shift forward to chaturanga the low end of a push-up or feel free to come to your belly inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog let's take two breaths here yogis breathing in exhale out maybe you're in stillness maybe you're lifting and lowering through your heels whatever feels good let's take one more breath breathe in sliding the shoulder blades back lifting those sit bones up and back and exhale out okay inhale here lift your left leg high keep your hips nice and squared and exhale bring it on through for a low lunge so plant your left foot between your hands drop the right knee down drop the top of the foot down inhale rise kneeling warrior engage both your glutes to keep your hips nice and squared shoulder blades stay down arms come up nice and high nice and now exhale listen up bring your hands behind you more of that binding you knit your fingers but now we're going to do something different bring those knit fingers and plant them right on your left hip right your left foot is forward this also engages 
a little, or it requires a little bit of balance. So maybe widen your knee and your foot, but keep that energetic connection between your left heel and your right knee. Our bound fingers are on our left hip and we inhale here. And on the exhale, just open up, bringing your left ear toward your left shoulder, finding a neck stretch and drawing that right shoulder blade back. Just kind of opening up here. Feel how you use your glutes to hold yourself steady. Breathe in. Exhale out. Come back to center. Lift your arms high. Exhale, plant your hands. Curl your back toe. Three-legged dog. Send your left leg high. Now listen up. Bend the knee. Open up through the hips. Ooh, that feels good. Your hips are opening up toward the left side of the room. Maybe you take a couple circles feels so good and then come back to that three-legged dog so square through your hips find strength and stability through your shoulders are equally centered inhale here this time exhale sweep that left leg through and rise for a crescent lunge so that back knee stays lifted that back heel comes over the toe find strength through your inner thighs inhale here Exhale, warrior two, spin that back foot, open up, slide the shoulder blades back, draw your sit bones down, your hip points up, and push through that back outer edge of your back foot, right? Front knee over the mid toes, holding here for strength. All right, inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Last time, three-legged dog, left leg goes high. And then bring it down, meet me in that down dog. Pedal it out, beautiful. We're gonna take it to the other side, yogis. So inhale, lift your right leg high. Keep your hips nice and squared. Exhale, draw that right foot through. Kneeling warrior, Anjane Asana. Drop the left knee, top of the foot down. Rise through your torso, lift your arms. Find that energetic connection between the right heel and the left knee, drawing in, scissoring your inner thighs, squaring through your hips. Inhale here. Exhale, draw those knit fingers behind you and then have them kind of camp out on your right hip, okay? Now your left shoulder retracts back, your right ear comes toward your right shoulder and you look up and find a little stretch here through your neck, a little retraction through that shoulder blade getting that tech neck and then exhale woo you may lose your balance and that's fine <laughs> inhale rise again exhale draw your hands down curl the back toe three-legged dog lift that right leg high and yes you get that chance to open through the hips so bend the knee open your hips toward the right side of the room keep the integrity of your shoulders nice and squared maybe you find a circle or two here and the other way and then come back through center square the hips again inhale exhale draw that right leg through yet again this time we rise crescent lunge find strength through that crescent lunge get nice and low that 90 degree bend in the front leg scissoring those inner thighs holding here heel over the back toe inhale Exhale, spin the back foot down, open up for your warrior two. Scissor those arms out and then find the intention, the strength through the shoulder blades as they come together to open through your collarbones. Bring that front knee over the mid toes, push through the back foot and find your warrior two. Hold it here. Inhale, reverse, keep your legs nice and low, reach that right arm high. Feel that side bend. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Three-legged dog. Last time, it feels so good. And exhale, come to your down dog. Breathe in and lower to your knees. Let's do a little bit of mat work. Good. Okay, so this is where the blocks might come in handy. You may need them, you may not. And the towel. I have a t-shirt. So, working those shoulders a little more. What I'd like to see you do is come into your Paschimottanasana, your long-legged seat, or Dandasana, your staff pose. So in other words, just sit on your sit bones, bring your legs nice and long, okay? And then you're gonna take that left leg and fold it under the right leg. Knee is forward, and then you take that right leg and fold it on top 
of the left leg. So now you draw those toes out, your knees are stacked. And now for some, this might be really easy to do. For some, you may need a block. I like using a block. I'm gonna draw that block under my left hip and then opening up through my toes. This is an amazing outer hip stretch. Again, integrity through the belly. Draw the belly in, right? Okay, so this is where things get fun. So we're gonna take that right arm up overhead and bend it. So the elbow is up and the palm is facing in toward the back, right? You're gonna take that left arm and bring it back behind you. Now that palm is gonna face out and see if you can't reach those fingers together. If you can't, this is where that strap towel shirt comes in handy. You can grab both ends and kind of start to reach your hands toward each other. Maybe you do find that bind, and maybe for some of you, you find it on one side and not on the other, but when you find it, hold here. When you find that deepest range of motion, keep your neck up, try not to dump forward, so that means you gotta keep your hips in alignment, your core steady, and that elbow up and strong. You'll feel a stretch through your arms, through your shoulders, through your triceps. Feels really good. Breathe in here and exhale out. Remember this, this arm pose, Gamukasana or cow face pose. Remember the arms. We're gonna use this in a flow, but we're gonna take it to the other side first. Let's take one more big breath in here. Breathe in and exhale out, <sighs> unravel. Come off your block if you're using one and bring your legs back nice and long. Okay, we're gonna take it to the other side. So this time that right leg comes underneath and that left leg comes on top and across and our toes come out again. Now again, you may you know, it's funny, on this side I can sit a little bit better. So no two sides are the same. I am not feeling like I need the block as much here. See what you need at home, right? But set up, so your knees are stacked, your toes are pointed outward. We look like a cow face in this pose, this is Gamukasana. So now here, let's add the arm expression as well. So take that right arm behind you, fold it, that means the palm is facing out. Take that left arm up, and draw it down. That means the palm is facing in. And now see if you can't wiggle those fingers together and find a bind. Now on this side, I can. See what you can do at home. Maybe you use that towel, but when you find it, find that tone through the belly, keep your neck nice and long, and find a stretch here. Let's breathe into it, yogis. Inhale, and exhale out. One more big breath. Oh, and exhale, let it go. Let's hold for one more. I'm really feeling my outer hips starting to open up and getting into those shoulders. Awesome job. Carefully let go. Open up your arms, bring them on down. If you used a block, slide that out from underneath you and then unwind your legs and shake them out. Nice job. Let's move our blocks and our towel out of the way. We're gonna head back to our flow and we're gonna incorporate those Gamukasana arms, okay? So consider top arm, palm in, bottom arm, palm out. Okay, let's, um, let's just take a little rock roll and meet me at the top of the mat and we'll find our forward fold. We'll start with a vinyasa here, inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Again, plug those arm bones back, find the strength through the belly, exhale, forward fold. <sighs> inhale again, halfway lift and step or hop back to your high plank. Bring it forward, heels over toes, exhale to Chaturanga or to your belly, inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, listen up, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, deliver it between your hands and rise, warrior two. Open up right away, spin that back foot down, find your warrior two, you've been here before, drop the sit bones, slide the shoulder blades back. Now we're gonna flow with those Gamukasana arms. So bring the right hand behind you, palm up. 
Bring the left hand behind you up top of your head, right? This is where we are. So that left arm leads. Inhale, reverse your warrior with your left elbow pointed up. Exhale, come back through warrior two. Now we switch the arms. Inhale, left arm comes behind us. Right arm comes up and over and reach it forward using your core. Breathe in. And we float this. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, Gamukasana. Reverse your warrior. Left arm is high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, Gamukasana. Right arm is high. Lean it forward. Use your core. Exhale, warrior two. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, right arm high. Use your core. And exhale, find that warrior two, beautiful. Breathe in, this time keep the arms long. Find a true reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Three-legged dog, left leg comes high. And maybe you find that Ekapada Chaturanga, that one-legged Chaturanga. Just take a flow, you can come down to your belly and take a cobra or an up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take that on the other side. Right away, you're gonna see the back side of me, but that's probably a good thing because you can check out the arms. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, sweep it through. Breathe in, spin the back foot, find your warrior two. And this is where we set up. Inhale, right arm high, left arm behind, Gamukhasana, that right arm is high. Reverse your warrior with the Gamukhasana arms, right? So that elbow's high, right elbow. Exhale through warrior two. Inhale, Gamukhasana the other way, left arm is high, and hinge it forward, really focusing on using your core. Keep the shoulder blades open or toward each other, open through your chest. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, Gamukhasana, right arm high, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, Gamukhasana, reach it forward as if you're going into extended side angle, left arm is high. One more time, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, right arm, Gamukhasana, reverse. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Exhale, warrior two, this time. Inhale, left, Gamukhasana, arm high. Find the integrity, find your core strength. Exhale, warrior two, hold it. Keep it open this time, yogi, yogis. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Right arm paints the sky, left arm comes down. Exhale, cartwheel the arms. Find your down doggy. Maybe you take that vinyasa, that ekapada, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Woo, that was nice. Okay, let's come on down to our knees. Couple more things here. Um, this is gonna be fun. So, come to your knees, <clears throat> curl your toes under, take a drink if that's in your space right now, or a towel off, but bring your knees underneath you so your sit bones are sitting on your heels, okay? We're going to go into a version of camel, but it's fun, it's a little more dynamic, it's a dancing camel. So, I want you to take your right hand and hold on to your right heel. I have my, curls to my toes curled under. I'm going to take my left hand and inhale, I'm going to rise with my hips. Keep your hand and heel connection on the right side. Left arm sweeps forward. And then you open up through the chest and draw that left arm back. So now you've got that extension from your left arm all the way through the body. And that right arm and heel is connected. On the exhale, you reverse it. You bring the arm straight down, hips down, and sweep it. And we continue. Let's just continue with that one side. Inhale, open, blossom up through your chest. Exhale, draw the hips down. Inhale, lift, open. Exhale, lower. Just like in the beginning when we opened up through our chest, draw the shoulder blades back. Carefully lower your neck, your head back to a point that feels good. And blossom, open. Woo, inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Okay, yogis, let's switch our side. So bring that left hand to the left heel. Right hand sweeps across the body as we rise. And exhale. And now you're using your glutes as well. Inhale, rise and open. And exhale. One more time, and then we'll alternate. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, keep this hand connection, but we're going to alternate now. So inhale, right arm sweeps. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, switch it out. And exhale, lower. And then we just alternate our arms, opening. That's why it's called dancing camel. It's a very lyrical move, movement. Find it, sliding each shoulder blade back, opening through your heart. Inhaling as you expand, exhaling as you curl in. Let's take two more. Inhale. And last time here. All right. Okay. Let's take it to a true camel. So you can have tops of your feet down. I like my toes curled under. It depends on your range of motion. Bring those sit bones back again onto your heels. Keep the integrity through the belly. Now let's stand up on our knees. Find a little bit of engagement through the glutes, just a little bit to support you. Bring your hands, your palms to your low back as if you're going into your back pockets, right? And then draw those elbows in. And you may feel your pelvis start to do this, dump. So you hold it with your core. Okay, we wanna keep those hips over the knees. We inhale. And on the exhale, we start to blossom open through the chest. Paint a line with your nose toward the ceiling as you curve and start to open that collarbone, those collarbones, and exhale, arch back. And you can draw your hands to your heels if that's in your practice, but find your camel. Open up, slide the shoulder blades back. And then exhale, carefully bring your hands back to your pockets. And then slowly lower your sit bones down onto your heels, unravel your toes. And let's just feel the benefits of that for a moment. Again, keeping that pelvis in neutral. Bring your palms open on your thighs. And we'll take two breaths here before we go down onto the mat for some final stretching. And maybe you soften your gaze or close your eyes. Inhale here. Just receiving the energy from opening up our hearts so much and going into that back bend. Exhale out. And take one more breath in. And a nice big exhale. Okay, yogis, a little bit more work. We're gonna come down on the mat. So lean forward and just come down to your belly. Make sure those blocks are out of the way. Tops of your feet are down. Your legs are nice and long and directly long behind you. Come to your left cheek. Stretch your left arm straight out toward the left wall with your palm down. Take your right arm and goal post it. Press your right palm into the ground. Now inhale and Open up, so roll your right leg toward the back of the room, opening your body toward the right side, and draw that right foot behind you, and find a stretch through your chest. Nice pec stretch, getting into the shoulder. Breathe into this. And exhale out. And take one more big breath here. You see, we're opening that chest line right here. We're also working into the shoulder. We've done a lot of shoulder work. Breathe in. And exhale out. Let's take that on the other side, Yogi. So roll back forward, okay? And just for a moment, bring your forearms underneath your forehead. Bring your forehead to the tops of your hands and just rock and roll out through your hips. Kind of shake it out. And then we'll take it to the other side. So come down onto your right cheek. Send your right arm long, palm down toward the right side of the room. Go post your left arm, press into the palm, inhale and, and open. Turn your body open, bring that left leg up and plant the foot behind the right leg. So you're opening your body toward the left wall, finding that pec stretch and stretch through the right shoulder. Breathe in. And exhale out. One more big breath in here. And exhale, let it go. Come back to center. Bring your forearms underneath you. Bring your forehead down. Find that little rock and roll here through your hips. Shake it out. One more stretch, and then we head into our Shavasana. <sighs> 
Okay, friends. So just walk yourself back up onto your knees. I want to take us to a rabbit stretch, opening up that upper back. So you can curl your toes under. This time you are going to grab for both of your heels. Okay, so bring your sit bones on top of your heels. Grab for both of your heels. Inhale here. And on the exhale, draw your torso down and bring the top of your head, not your forehead, the crown of your head to the ground, okay? Once you reach it, keep your hands cupped around your heels. Inhale and lift your sit bones up. Your arms are nice and long and that connection between your heels, pulling your arms and your shoulders, you're going to feel a stretch across the lats, mid, upper back, feels great. And exhale out. Whew. Okay, yogis. And then we just slide ourselves onto our bum. And if you do have those blocks, you may want to end in a supportive fish pose, continuing with our efforts to keep our shoulders open. So bring those that block to the lowest part of your rib cage in the back, the length of your spine, and just lower yourself onto it. And then take your other block wide behind your head and relax yourself down. Now, once you arrive, you've got that nice tilt in your pelvis. You can open up in your butterfly, bringing the soles of your feet together or take your legs along, whatever feels good here. But then tee those arms out and let your shoulders straight back. And this, friends, is where I will leave you in your supported fish pose for Shavasana or else come down to the ground and find the Shavasana of your choice. But this whole flow, the emphasis was on opening up rounded shoulders, right? And what do we need to consider there? You need to have a strong core. You need to strengthen the back muscles and you need to stretch through your chest. Um, I would suggest um, other Kick at 55 classes, look at upper body strength classes where you work the back side, such as reverse flies, narrow rows, getting into the posterior chain, okay? And this is where I will leave you. <sighs> Namaste. Hey, where are you going? There are more videos, so check us out. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We'll see you on your mat. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.